hey, I'm making this video to talk about a situation. <clears throat> to have escalated a lot. It's an apology. It's not a confession, but it's an apology in the retraction. It all started. This is for Justin Mark. And also to squash the beef with Dave Lee. And after I talk about this, he's going to remove his videos for his other channel analysis and response. For Justin Mark, me and Justin Mark, we get along really well right now compared to before. Um, it was all a misunderstanding and it spiraled out of control. It all started with me criticizing natural and direct and I didn't mean to. I didn't know that at that time he didn't know who I was. So he told me he was very dumbfounded when I criticized it. At that time, I saw six testimonials or late testimonials, and I believe that was all there was based on the evidence there. But he tells me he tells me now there's a lot more. This is just like he doesn't always collect it, but he has lots, 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 lots. So I understand it now. And he told me that, you know, he wants me to retract everything, and I have retracted everything. I retracted all the videos about Justin Mark. I even took down the videos of Dave Lee or anything like that. It's all been misunderstanding. I have said some statements. I didn't at that time, you know, sometimes I don't have a filter. I just say whatever, but I never meant it in a, a race kind of thing. I call him a brown monkey, right? I was thinking more of the animal or something more like physical. I know it's not the right thing to say, but it can be misconstrued as that. And that's not the point. The point is that I shouldn't have said that. And Yes, and I want to say that I'm not a racist person. I have students who are every ethnicity. And this is for the Dave Lee side, not so much for Justin Mark. This has nothing to do with Justin Mark. I love white people. They say, like, oh, he hates white dating coaches. Just white dating coaches, white people. That's a, two very different things. White dating coaches, white people. That's a big jump because I love white people, white women. I've been in Europe in countries that are Caucasian, they're very nice to me. There's no crime. Everyone is accepting of me. Just on the other side, I just, the reason why, there's two types I don't like. White dating coaches, it doesn't mean I hate them or anything like racist, but, but also racist people, I don't like that. It's because I didn't see that much proof from open to sex in their, you know, for as a dating coach. I know this is not exactly something we should discuss here. But I didn't see that much of it. So this is factual. Only one dating coach, st statistically speaking, has shown from open to close. So that's my gripe with... It they just happen to be Caucasian, but it doesn't mean like I am against Caucasian people. So it was taken out of context. And I think saying that now, for the record, you know, I have no um, discrimination against white people. I got white students. I got white relatives. I have so many white students. So I want to say that's completely out of context, but that's not the point. The point is that these some of these things that are being said, it's like human rights is human rights, that I get it. But I have taken the first step to retract a lot of these things. I've taken all the posts away, and I don't want this to be misconstrued. For the Justin Mark thing, for the other thing I said, I want to take it back. I have already deleted everything. And, um, you know, also for calling, like, I wore a Pennywise mask. And, you know, he didn't like that either. And I get it. Because a lot of us, you know, I call him like a dark tetrad sociopath. Pennywise eyes kind of. So I take that back. Okay, I'm sorry. That's the word, I'm sorry. Because things like this, he told me at the time, the reason why I realized that I'm really sorry is because... Uh, when I was talking with Justin Mark, he told me, John, listen, I, I didn't come here to ruin your life. I didn't want to do that, right? I want to think about it. You're a good person, and I know you're trying to help the Asian men, or you're trying to help people. And that, that's, the, that's when I realized that Justin Mark, you know, he's a good person. We all have our personalities, which is the, what the world sees, okay? We all have our person. We're dating coaches. Some of us, we have... We, obviously, we all have an ego. Nobody likes to be attacked. And I think for all three of us, it became like... But when you see the inside, the character, when you look at my character, 
I've helped so many minorities as a dating coach. I had so many students getting results. I had suicidal students that are still here because of me that gets results. I've done a lot of good in Justin Mark sees that. And that's when I opened up to Justin and Mark and I said, you know what? This guy, maybe I misjudged him. Justin Mark, and I told him that, he told me that this hurts his business. And I was like, it had, I had no idea. He told me that and I was like, really? I asked him, did, did I really hurt your business? Right? I was like, oh shit, right? Oh, I am so sorry. Right? I didn't even know. And he said, yeah, it did. This is COVID-19, guys. This is like a time when it's a lot tougher. Although I'm doing fine in COVID-19, you have to understand it is a very different world for what most dating coaches are used to. Okay? And I apologize to him for that. I apologize for all the other things. And this is not a confession as in like I'm admitting to guilt. Of course not. Of course not. And that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It means I'm retracting it and I'm apologizing it if it hurts his feelings or, you know, if, if I accidentally, right, hurt his business. Because I, I felt so bad when that, when that happened, when he told me that, my heart sank right to the ground at that very moment. My jaws dropped like, oh shit, I, I hurt his business. I didn't know that. That was like the worst thing. I felt like a, I felt like a piece of garbage when I said that. I was like, no way, no way. And it's like, yeah, it, I offer him like everything that I know that helped during COVID. I know there's a lot more that I can still offer and I will. He, he can take the tips or not. It's up to him. But he says, John, you, I, I like that you have a very small audience and you can create a lot of conversions for students. So I'm giving him the knowledge or books or whatever like necessary advice that work for my business. It, it's it's um, out there. This is not like a competition. It's not like it's a buffet. Everyone can eat. And because of that, I'm taking back all of the the post everything regarding him. I delete all on my landing page. I delete all in the other sections of the site. For Dave Lee, I have taken down all the videos, and he was very surprised. He was like, "Really, John? You took down all the videos?" At first, he he would when I unblocked him. And Justin says, "You know, after me and Justin, we really got along. That's that's what hurt the most, because for me and Justin." We are, we are like kindred spirits because when he starts speaking about manifestation, he talked about all these spiritual concepts and we were both talking about it. We're like, that's exactly what I understand. We both can manifest stuff around us. And I was like, this is, a, this is I'm hurting a person that did not deserve this. And I didn't even know it. And I said some things I thought it was just with no filter and I had no intentions of racism. But, but the point is, of course, it'll hurt people's egos. It'll hurt people. And whether or not it gets misconstrued or not, the point is, it doesn't matter. The point is, um, I just a client right now, Indian client, just asking me on, you know, for coaching. All right. So let, the, the point is this. Um, the point is, I didn't want to hurt him. And I'm going to help Justin Mark if I can give tips or anything to improve. They do work. The stuff I've taught other people, it, it does work. And I have proven this with my student results. They have gotten results from copywriting, from sales. I'll offer them whatever I can. This is COVID-19, guys. I want you guys who are fans of Justin Mark out there to support him. You got to understand that all of us dating coaches, okay, even if it didn't affect me as much, because I switch over to more digital stuff. The thing is, it affected everyone else a lot. And you got to start supporting the people that, you know, that, that you're fans of. And that's what I want his audience to do. I want all the stuff between me, me and Dave Lee. Whatever he said about me, I do think it's a misconstrued. It's not even accurate. But the point, it doesn't matter. I want it retracted. He's That's why he says, he says, John, what I want from you is that I want you to make an apology video and to say there's no more beef between me and Dave Lee. And that's exactly what I'm doing. There's no more beef between us. We'll never speak to each other again. We'll never speak about each other again. And I told him I took down all the videos. And that's when he opened up to me. He's like, really? All of it's down. He was like, oh, okay. Because I made so many videos about him. I, the thing is that sometimes as dating coaches, um, 
me and him, we're not that forgiving of people. And I've never forgiven in my life. And that's bad. And I told him, like, he says, what should we do now at this stage? I said, forgive each other. I'm going to learn how to do it. We have caused each other a lot of damage. And, and now that I realize that Justin Mark is such a cool person, I didn't want, I would never ever say, if, if I knew him. We just start off on the wrong foot because Justin told me that they took down, you can't use the Facebook because, you know, Mexico situation. And also, um, I didn't use an Instagram, so therefore we couldn't communicate. But if he could have, he would have said hi, and then we would have, you know, communicate and be on good terms. We just never had the opportunity. And a lot of times he told me he was dumbfounded when he found out, like, John's saying this on his blog. He didn't understand any of it. And that's what made me felt like, you know, like, really bad. Because what am I doing? Like, I just want to say it's all retracted. I apologize for all these things. And for Dave Lee, despite what you I say, it is not meant to be racist. Like, I have nothing against you. It just we just went back and forth a lot. I want the people that saw those videos about him. I want them not to come after him. I want you to just forgive and let go and you know retract the videos that he made about me. Even though I think they're all context stuff, it's just what I think. Complete all context. But the point is, I want that retracted from your. So if you remember things of what we said to each other, I want you just to let let it go. It's not worth it and. Justin Mark's lawyer told me that um, John go make a video apologizing to Justin Mark. That's exactly what I'm doing. And that's, I'm doing the right thing. I'm taking the step to, you know, the first step. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a racist person. You should see my character, the one that Justin saw. Me and Justin, we get along now. And I wish, I wish so many years ago that I had the opportunity to say hi. Just to reach out to him and just say hi. If I knew that me and him would get along so well and we were like kindred spirits where we both have a lot in common. Man, man this would never have escalated. It's just, a, I, I asked him if we could start all over and he said, yeah, we can. So this is my public apology. And he tell me make this. is He'll tell his lawyer when the lawyer sees this, they'll retract this from the Human Rights Commission. This is just going like out of control. It's not like a win-win situation. It's like a lose-lose, lose-lose for everyone. Right now, I'm turning back to win, 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 win. And I deeply apologize from the bottom of my heart. Okay? Sometimes my personality is not that good. But Justin saw my character. And me and him, we get along. I would not talk about Justin Mark on my channel. It's not important anymore. Or the blog. Me and Justin, we're, we're still in contact with each other. If we want to, like, you know, talk about stuff, give each other tips, or just say hi and stuff, like, how are you doing? He has a direct line to me, and I, I to him. And after all these years, we finally said hi to each other. I, he's, he's just such a cool guy. He's such a cool guy, and I was like, fuck. What have I done? What has he done? It's almost like everyone misunderstood the situation. Nobody knew what was happening. It's almost like... It, this whole thing be, it's like shocking to all of us. What's happening here? What's happening, right? Now it's, it's over escalating and we're all dumbfounded. Like, what's happening here? And I don't want that like that anymore. So this is my public apology. I posted on my YouTube. The lawyers are retract this. Dave Lee's are retract his videos. And the beef is squash. He, me and Dave Lee, I'm sure, you know, and from what I hear from him, he says, yeah, no problem, right? He says, no problem. And he also thanked me for taking the first step. And he told me that it was very brave to be the first one to step in and be the peacemaker. So yeah, this we don't have to be friends. We don't have to be enemies. You know, we don't have to talk about each other. Yes, I will talk about RSD and other stuff like people, but not you guys. So yeah, I just want to say that's what I want to say. And this is my public apology, guys. And please do not judge any of us, all of us here. It's all just my big misunderstanding. And this is nothing that... We ever wanted. Everyone has taken some damage. Everyone. It, it has become a lose, 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 lose. But let's just make this back to win, 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 win. And forgive, 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 and forgive. And just move on. So I'm taking the first step, you know, just this is the right thing to do. This is the right thing to do. So I want to say that Justin, you know, you're a cool guy. 
I can always recommend a few books that has really helped my business and stuff. And the thing is that, please, for his fans, support Justin Mark. You can't just like, you gotta show your support. And of course the fans support me and the fans. The thing is that you gotta show, you gotta help the people that you're fans with support them because they depend on your business. And that's what I wanna say. That's what I wanna say. If you, if you don't, you, you understand like all of us have suffered during COVID-19, all of us. Nobody has ever been, unless you're Elon Musk or, you know, Bill Gates or Warren Buffett, everyone else has suffered. And support the dating coaches that, you know, you resonate with. That's, that's my message and everything is retracted. And I'm going to continue like for Dave Lee after, you know, he's going to take down the videos. No problem. He's cool with that. I'm going to keep looking for the post that. If there's anything with Justin Mark and him, I'm gonna delete them all. Right now I'm on my phone, right? So um, this entire thing, I'm running the business on the phone, my laptop fried. But I'm gonna go in there and find all the posts and find out how to delete them, wherever they are. I keep doing that afterwards, after all this is retracted. Justin would tell me that um, he talked to the lawyer and he's retracted this Human Rights Commission thing. It's, it should never have escalated this far. And that's all I wanna say. Um, I'll keep in contact with you, Justin. And, you know, feel free to reach out and talk to me. You're, you're a cool person. And this is the real Johnny Lee. The guy, you guys don't have never seen this stuff. And I could have been on here just defending myself and showing all the student videos calling me not like racist and John's really caring of. Because for Justin, now that, you know, you, you don't see him as like a person on the out tribe. You see him as the in tribe or then now you see a different side to me. So that's how I treat people. It's very confusing to a lot of people. John has a aggressive personality on YouTube, but around his studio, he's very caring. This is how I treat people. And Justin saw that and he's like, wow, this, this is not the same Johnny Elite that I, I thought I knew. This side, I don't show it to the audience. This vulnerable, nice side. But this is, both sides are the real me. And I don't know why I act like aggressive and stuff. You know, on YouTube, that's how I talk. And it does, you know, it, it, people resonate with it. But however, this nice side is also part of me. And most people have never seen it. But I've seen this from Dave Wei, where I, I've seen his nice side. You know what I mean? A reasonable side. I've seen from Justin Mark, a really human side. And, you know, the real him. That's a really cool person. That's a person I really respect. That's, that's somebody that, that's a, that's a good person, like a good heart. And none of us wants to hurt each other. Cause he said, I didn't want to ruin your life, John. That was not my intention. And for my intention, it's not here to hurt his business or to say all these things. It was never my intention. So I, I publicly apologize. And that's all I gotta say. I want to say to a lawyer, his lawyer, I just want to say hi, um, you know, and this is a public apology and yeah, everything should be fine. And yeah, everything is retracted. So anyways, Johnny Lee out. And that's all I want to say, like Johnny Lee, I'm, I'm, this is my apology. And I really wish it didn't escalate like this. It's a little bit, none of us wanted this. None of us, none of us. So, all right, this is the end of the video. And yes, I'm going to upload this. I'm going to upload this. I'm going to show it to Dave Lee. I'm going to show it to Justin Mark. And he's going to show it to his lawyer. Okay. And then it should be everything should be back normal and business as usual. But please support the dating coaches that you resonate with from now on. I want to say to the people out there, you know, if you resonate, please support us because you have to. This They depend on your support. That's all I say. That's a real, this is a heartfelt message. They depend on your support. And 